Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Nick here with Overage Syndicate, and I wanted to share with you one of the secrets to the success that I've had thus far in the overages and surplus funds business um, in hopes that it will help you in your journey as you're getting started using this strategy. OK, so that's what I want to jump into today. But before I do that, um, I wanted to share with you some numbers. Um, if any of you have, have followed my story, um, you know that I quit my job as a correction slash probation officer in 2017. So 2018 was my first full calendar year in business for myself. And I focused on the overage strategy, okay? Because I had done a couple deals prior to quitting, so I knew that it worked. I just didn't know if it was a viable full-time business. But that's what I banked on for 2018 after I quit my job. So I want to share with you some of my numbers from 2018. And you can you can see them here on my screen. So in 2018, I had 41 total cases that I was a part of. Of those 41 cases, 29 of them, we successfully recovered money for our clients. Um, some of them were big numbers. Some of them were very small numbers, but 29 cases we got money on. Okay. 12 cases we lost. So, you know, those are, and, and the lost means we actually had a client, they signed up with us. We submitted everything. We filed a claim. And for one reason or another, we lost the case. Okay. So my record for 2018 was 29 and 12, 29 wins, 12 losses. Now you're probably looking at that and you're like, well, that's not, that's not very good. You know, it's only, I mean, if we do 29 divided by 41, you know, that's only a 70% success rate, which isn't bad. It's not a bad success rate, but it's not 100%. It's what, it's not 90, it's not 80. But those are, that's the numbers, right? And so why am I sharing this with you? The reason is when people get started in anything, but especially in this business, um, I hear a lot of questions about how to do this or what if this happens? And these are all great questions. I'm not, I'm not trying to say don't ask questions. But what I'm seeing is I think a lot of the reason but behind these questions that people ask me is they don't want to lose. And it's a mindset thing. They're so afraid of losing that they, they try to learn as much as possible and they get stuck in what is called paralysis analysis, meaning they are so caught up in learning everything so they don't lose, they end up not doing anything. Okay. And that's a problem. That's a big problem because it's going to hinder you and it's going to keep you from getting the results that you want and creating a new possibility and a new reality for yourself. Okay. Um, <clears throat> here's, here's my secret guys. I mean, 41 total cases, 29 cases, 29 wins. If any of you have seen the other video that I've done, you know that I made over 100K in 2018 in income, okay? Um, if not, you can go look at that or you can just check out my website, overtosyndicate.com. I go over it. I show you my tax returns from 2017 versus 2018 after I quit my job. So you can go look at that at overtosyndicate.com. And, and verify everything I'm telling you here. So I made six figures in 2018. But my point is, you're going to have losses no matter what you do, no matter what you know, no matter how much you spend, how much time you spend learning and preparing, you're going to have things that are going to blindside you and you're going to lose. And that's okay because that's where we learn and that's where we grow the most. But this is my, one of the biggest things, one of the biggest problems 
in society today is, and this is just my opinion, we value security more nowadays than we value freedom. And we're so afraid of failure that we don't even set ourselves up for the possibility to win. Does that make sense? Most people are so un they're so unwilling to lose or they're so dead set on avoiding failure that they don't even step into the ring. They don't even get into the game. And if you're not willing to step into the ring and get your butt kicked, then you can't create a new reality for your life. You just can't. If you're unwilling to risk things in your life, whether it's, you know, finances or time, um, whatever it is, if you're unwilling to take risks, you can't create a new reality. You just can't. Um, scientifically, it's impossible. If you don't, if you, if you don't do something new, you can't create something new. Simple as that. And so going back to what was my secret to success this first year in business, here it is. Here's the secret. Be willing to step in the ring. Be willing to step up to the plate and be willing to strike out. Every once in a while, you'll get a base hit. Maybe you'll get a home run. Um, but you're going to strike out. Be willing to step into the ring. Be willing to get knocked out. Because if you're just a spectator, you're never going to get what you want in life. So be a player. Step up to the plate. Step into the ring. Be willing to lose. And if you're willing to lose, then you have a chance to win. But if you're not willing to lose, you'll never win. And you'll never create change. Um, that's just how it is, guys. That was my, that's my secret. <laughs> I was willing to take risks. And I was willing to lose. And because I was willing to do that, luckily I won more than I lost. I'll share with you something else real quick. So growing up, you know, I was, I was involved in sports, hence the analogies. Never played baseball, so I don't know why I use a baseball analogy, but whatever. Um, I played football. I wrestled. Um, I raced dirt bikes. You know, that was what I did growing up. Okay. I started wrestling in fourth grade and, and I was a bigger kid. And so what ended up happening is they sent me to the junior high. And when I was in like fifth grade or sixth grade, so I could wrestle with the, with the bigger kids. And, um, and I always wrestled a, a weight class up. So in wrestling, usually you cut weight and you get, go down. I went the opposite and I always wrestled up. So an example is, at state, my senior year, I wrestled in the 215 pound class. Well, I weighed in at 190 at state. So that tells, yeah, I always, I did it the opposite, but whatever. The point is I'm trying to make from fourth grade to my junior year in high school, I did not have a winning season. Like I lost more than I won from fourth grade to my junior year in high school. And the reason I'm telling you this is, well, finally, my junior and in, in, in my senior year, I, be, I was a region champion, a uh, record of like 38 and eight or something. I wasn't a state champion. You know, I, I wasn't the best. I just wasn't. But I was still a winner and I was still a region champion. And it's because I was willing to lose for so many years. So why do I tell you this story? If you want to be the champion of your life, you have to be willing to lose. And you just learn from your mistakes. That is the secret to my success. And, you know, I am not the most successful. I'm not even close to being successful. 
but I know there's so many people out there that maybe they want to quit their job. They want to make more money. There's people out there that want change in their life. They see overages as a possibility, as a tool to create that change or real estate or whatever it is. And so many people jump into it, jump into real estate, jump in whatever it is, could be an online business, real estate, um, whatever it is, they jump into something and they spend so much time learning and not enough time doing. They're stuck in the stands of the spectators, analyzing, criticizing, learning. It's all fine and good, but at some point in time, you got to stop being a spectator and you got to start doing some stuff, start getting your butt kicked, start learning. And that's when you'll see wins. Okay. You need to be okay with experiencing rejection, with being told no, getting your feelings hurt, people cussing you out. You need to be okay with that. Um, because that's how the world is. The world is not sunshine and rainbows. The world will beat the crap out of you. But then you have to decide if you're going to beat it back or if you're just going to curl up and run away and retreat. I think most people don't create the change that they want in their life because they don't even have the courage to step into the ring and fight for their own life. And that's sad and it needs to change. And I hope it does change. Again, I'm not a guru. I have not made it. There are thousands of millions of people that are more successful than me, but I'm hoping that hopefully what I share with people can give them some hope and help them achieve what they want in life. So again, that's my, that's my secret, you know, is be willing to step into the ring, take your losses, but then get back up and keep going. That's it guys. Hope you have a good weekend. We'll see you.